So notice that, uh, so here we got another proportion involving geometry. Uh, in this case, uh, we got a couple marshmallows here. So here's a standard size marshmallow. It's, it has 25 calories. Let's figure out how many calories we would expect in the jumbo size marshmallow. So in this case, we would expect the calories to scale with volume. Uh, and so notice that both of these marshmallows are going to have basically cylindrical shapes, right? And the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h, where r is the radius and h is the, is the height of the cylinder. Uh, so let's see if we can figure out the volume of these two marshmallows. So we're going to use this grid as our units. We don't know if they're inches or centimeters or what, but we're going to just go ahead and use whatever unit they are. So let's see our regular marshmallow here. This width looks like it's about one, two, three and a half, and so the radius would be about 1.75, and our height here looks like about one, two, three and a half again. Okay, so for the regular size, we have a volume of pi times 1.75 squared times 3.5 is uh, about 33.7 uh, units cubed or cubic units. Let's see, for our jumbo marshmallow, our diameter looks like it's about one, two, three, four, five and a half, five and a half. So our radius uh, is going to be half of that. Uh, half of that is, is 2.75, and then our height looks like it's about, I don't know, eh, I guess we'll call that about one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, f a little bit and a half and a half, I don't know, about five units. Uh, so the volume of the, of the jumbo marshmallow, we got a 2.75 squared times five is, 118.8 units cubed uh, for the jumbo marshmallow. So now we can go ahead and set up our proportion, uh, or we could use rates. And so let's try using rates this time. So we got 25 calories uh, for our mini marshmallow. Uh, oh, actually, let's 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 let me let me take that out. So let's start with our jumbo marshmallows volume here. So we got 118.8 units cubed of volume uh, for one jumbo marshmallow. And we want to convert volume into calories. And so we know that there are 25 calories in 33.7 cubic units of volume, right? We know that from our regular size marshmallow here. So our volume cancels, and we end up with 118 times 25 divided by 37 is about 88.1 calories. Now, something that's really interesting to note here uh, from the previous problem and this problem. In this problem, notice that the diameter was about 1.33 times bigger. But the dough required and the and the uh, the dough required ended up being 17.8 over 10 is is 1.78 times bigger. Why was this larger than this? Well, because it's scaled with area, and scaling with area means it scales with the square of the ratio. So here, this is 1.33 times bigger, 1.33 times squared is 1.78. And so it scales with the square of, of, of the dimension. Likewise here, uh, the, the diameter and height are about 1.5 times bigger uh, from here, from the small marshmallow to the big one, but the calories ends up being about 3.375 times larger, which is the cube, again, because we're talking about volumes, the cube of that ratio of differences.